Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna try to live in the real world. The challenge level is impossible. Yeah, so today's topic is that everything, not not like everything in total, but like 99% of what you actually learn on the internet is useless. In my opinion, of course, because I experienced it. I watched self-improvement content for some time and actually since like, I don't know, five or even more months ago, I stopped and I only watch it for like an entertainment rather than actually taking lessons from it. But what I learned during my like course of self-improvement, grinding, male advantage and everything like that bullshit, I just experienced real world for like three days and I know for sure that everything is just useless. We live in our like echo chambers where we get information from the YouTubers that we follow and we base our opinions on their opinions. It's usually like whoever you deal with and whoever is your friend you just take a part of their personality and add to your own to like create your own self-image and especially if you want to be liked by everyone then the challenge begins where you take a part from everyone and you basically become nothing because you just can't be liked by everyone and honestly because of that every information is useless Maybe for me it was, maybe for you it's actually useful. I honestly feel alone, like very alone. I honestly never felt that way before. I have friends, but like it feels alone to be in college. And I don't mean that I don't have friends yet there, but honestly it just feels like everything I learned from the internet and all the time wasted on it was for nothing. I still socialize with people there and it's actually fun. You can just go up to anyone and talk about some bullshit or just join any conversation. In college, it's just socializing done like at most easy mode possible. Yet why I feel alone despite so many people being beside me is because I'm actually on my own. I'm totally on my own. All the experiences, all the lessons are there for, for me to actually learn them rather than use lessons that I learned because I learned nothing. Every advice from that period of content creators about like, oh, girls want this, girls like that. It's honestly absolutely useless. There's like a difference between like the college life and actually the real world life. Or as I said, in college pretty much everyone is your buddy from the get-go and you can literally just talk to anyone. Even like even if you struggle with talking to girls like I did, it's basically easy. Of course, like looks matter and everything. Probably because <laughs> Probably even that advice about looks and oh today's sponsor is Teach Henley, you have to take your uh, skin seriously or something. Probably even that in the environment you're going to is useless because it's all about environment. In college everyone is your buddy while in real life or, or at work everyone is like agitated and sometimes even like angry at you for no particular reason and I experienced that but as I said it's all about environment and the internet's environment where you are like hyped for like talking to girls or something it's all fake it's honestly all fake because as long as you don't take action Honestly, nothing will change. But <laughs> hell, even in college, maybe if you don't take action, things will change because someone will actually approach you. Hell, even yesterday someone approached me. So seriously, even not taking any action might actually get you into some places. Of course, you will have to do some stuff and, you know, learn. Like, <laughs> that's obvious, I think. And I think it's for me obvious because I still have a lot to learn there. But as I said, the environment you put yourself to is 
the most important thing because if you still watch like self-improvement videos if you still think about like the red pill stuff oh if i go to gym enough times i will get girls and my business that you don't even define my business will grow probably maybe but if you put yourself into the environment that you actually enjoy being in and that actually inspires you to be better then this environment is overall better that for you and as i said everything you learn on the internet is useless because everything i said might actually not apply to you you might have actually totally different experience in college you might have even better experience you might not go to college and still have good life but despite everything i said i still feel alone and you actually might feel alone too because it feels like there is no one to save you not in money terms not in like mom comment save me terms but actually that everything is up to you and your life actually depends on you and <laughs> that's scary for me it's seriously scary because throughout school you basically had to go there and go back and play some video games and now everything is up to you to get to know the best people that actually have some <laughs> notes because i noticed that not everyone is making notes to actually pass everything to actually have in check the entire schedule i mean that depends if you still live with your parents because you know they can wake you up or something but even that is up to you and you're in total control and honestly that's funny how people always yearn for total control over their life and i was yearning for it too but now that i actually have it and it's not like total control because still my degree depends on how the teachers actually like want to grade me right in my opinion it's like adulthood in light version where as i said you still can talk to people everyone is friendly and you still have some room to fuck up and <laughs> for me personally i don't feel this room i don't think there is room for me to actually fuck up anything right now everything has to be perfect and that's actually might be also the reason why i'm so scared and if there are people in the comment section that actually go to college let let me know how it is for you i honestly want to know the most scary thing for me is swimming classes because the teacher is like firm assertive and it feels like i'm gonna have a problem with that especially because i don't swim very well and at first when it was like first day i was actually convinced that everyone else is just like best and <laughs> they can swim and dive like movie characters or something and honestly when i went there and talked to some people like not every there are some people that actually are great at swimming but there actually are some people that have the same issues as i do so i guess that's comforting to some level depends <laughs> how you take it <laughs> but i just know that i have to actually struggle and i will just have to train very hard to actually be at certain level that they want me to be on the good part is that i don't have to be on olympian level or something i just have to learn like two styles maybe three and that's it so i think i can do it because i have past experiences with swimming and you might think that hey i'm socializing and i actually have some people there that don't swim so why do i still feel alone and there's only one simple answer th that i actually said to you it's not that i'm totally alone but i'm on my own and that's worse i don't know maybe in time actually everything will be better but my advice for you in this video that you might actually take is to not listen to anyone just experience your life totally on your own and you might feel the same as i do right now 
where you feel alone and basically abandoned or something. But probably there is like a possibility that this is where the growth comes from. And especially what I mean by that is for you to quit any social media, quit watching any self-improvement videos because it won't get useful for you. It's just like words in like, <laughs> it's just like talking ahead from 1984 for you to basically listen to and think, yeah, he speaks truth. While he basically just wanted your money and your attention because everything has to be monetized nowadays. So my advice is to just quit everything and live your life and everything will fall into its place. Even if you don't take action, everything will just go the way it's supposed to. And my second advice, go to college. Like why not? It's only three years from, from your life. I mean, if you don't have money, like don't go because I don't want you to get into debt. But if you still live with your parents and they swore that they will actually like finance you, that go seriously it's just three years from your life and you probably won't do anything else with these three years and who knows maybe you actually meet real friends that will actually become your best friends and you will meet good people there and it's all about time it depends on how you actually want to spend your time on because you know it's a currency and shit but i think three years don't feel that long for me anymore. I honestly feel like three years will pass quickly. Not like quickly because for me time passes slowly, but I will actually use these three years to my advantage and in a whole three years. Rather than like in coronavirus where three years felt like one. And even in college you actually have like three years of actual fun because you know college is about having fun, like going to parties. I mean for me it it would not be because I don't drink that much. Like I don't drink at all but I think I'm gonna actually start to not like drinking heavily but like you know one beer on some party or something. And some people might think that it's bad and I have weak head, but for me it's honestly, I'm just predisposed to be healthy. Like seriously, I'm just predisposed to be healthy. So yeah, the lesson from this video is that go to college and you're on your own. You're alone in this world and there is no one to save you. And according to my previous video, this advice is what you make of it because you might actually be sad about it and think that oh wh why so deep why so why so sad like it is what you take it as you might actually be excited because you're this like empty shell for you to actually create something great and that might be actually inspiring for you i'm just putting ideas out there because you might take it actually as you want it to take. There are like 8 billion ideas you might actually take from this advice. So see you in the next video, probably very soon.